Good morning, everyone. Welcome back in. I'm over here, by the way. I feel like we're all blending in in our all <laughs> black. <laughs> All right, the North Dakota Ballet Company's Diamond and Jade competition teams won a national title last month, and I have the entire team and the studio's artistic director with me to talk about this accomplishment and all of the hard work it took to get there. Well, first of all, congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. And we have the hardware to match. I don't know if we can see these giant trophies. I think they're almost as tall as some of your <laughs> girls. This is so exciting. Yeah. yeah, we're really <laughs> proud of all of the work that they did to get to this point. Absolutely. So what was the winning routine? Um, so we had our runner-up routine, which was called Disconnected. It was our diamond um, team. It was kind of um, our little bit of a goodbye to Miss Adele, who's our graduating senior. Oh. So that, te that dance ended in tears almost oh every time yeah. they did it. Yeah. Um, but it added to so much to the piece, too. So that was actually the runner-up. So they scored second. And then into the dark, which was all of these ladies up here. We have the entire, both of our teams, Jades and Diamonds. Um, so they took home the, the big one over there, first overall, like national champs, so. Wow, so you guys got first and, and second. second. So you like swept. Yeah. yeah. Wow, well, that is so exciting. So tell us for the girls, what did it really feel like to be standing up on that stage and be the winner? I guess it just like <laughs> felt good because you know all our hard work like paid off, you mm -hmm. know, and it's just so special to like just have that big win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been really working hard in the summer practices, and they were like really hard practices because we're tired, we're irritated <laughs> yeah. with each other. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like to see that pay off, that was really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you are the graduating senior, correct? Yes. <laughs> How does that feel to be, you know, looking back on your entire dance career and dancing with all these ladies? It was so fun. Like, just to, like, go out with a bang almost mm -hmm. and, like, dance with you guys. It was so special. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So this is kind of for the whole group. How long have you guys all been dancing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of us I since think... we were, like, pretty young. Yeah. yeah. Like about four. Yeah. yeah, they're between the ages of like 13 and 18. So for most of them, it's, you know, 12, 13 years that they've been dancing. So yeah. definitely. Well, that is so exciting. So where did the national competition take place? They were in Duluth. Okay. So they actually competed in regional competitions in the Grand Forks, Fargo, Minneapolis, and Duluth areas. And so then their nationals this year was in Duluth. Exciting. Mm -hmm. That is so much fun. Oh, my goodness. So how many hours a week did you guys train for this? For this dance, like in particular, we have one class a week, but mm -hmm. we're pretty much in the studio every day, yeah. just working yeah. on our technique and other skills that help us um, in our other dances yeah. too. Definitely, yeah. a lot of hard work went into this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For the director, how did it really feel to see these girls, you know, sweating in practice, working together as a team, and then seeing them perform on stage and win? Well, it was actually really amazing. So I'm the artistic director, so I see and I work with every single one of these dancers in their like technique classes. Um, but our actual competition director, Natalie Cook, she wasn't able to be here today. Um, so she's the one who really put in all the mm -hmm. blood, sweat, and tears and all the choreography for that. But I got to be at home and it was amazing to watch everything on the live stream because they really are, they're not just dancers, they're artists. Mm -hmm. And ge getting to see them on stage and getting to see that win and knowing the amount of time and energy it took and then to see them win, it was, I was in my living room jumping up and down <laughs> and screaming, so it was, yeah. it's amazing. I bet everyone was so excited. Mm -hmm. Were there yes. some tears shed? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once you had that trophy in your hand, I bet it was just happy tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, that is so exciting, ladies. So you guys are from ND Ballet Company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can people maybe find out more information about this? Or maybe you're at home and you want to get your daughter or son into dancing. Yeah, so we have our website, which is North Dakota ballet.org. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> um, and so on our website, we have information about all of our fall classes that you can register for and then how to get involved with our competition team as well. We've got a whole section of information about that so that's uh, pretty much our website is the best place to get all of our info exciting so what about this winning routine can people watch is there a video somewhere i know i really <laughs> want to watch it now <laughs> yeah we do have copies of the video and so i feel like that might be something we need to try to put up we have lots of pictures posted of some of the amazing moments because mm -hmm. they're 
really flexible and there's amazing tricks inside of it. So we have some really <laughs> stunning photos that we've posted um, so you can see little snapshots of it. But we definitely should try to find a way to get the whole yeah. routine out there because or both of our routines, the first and the second place routine because they're stunning. Definitely. Well, I definitely believe it. I know we had some photos playing earlier when one of you guys was literally bent in half. Yep, that, that one's so her. <laughs> so much for joining me and congratulations again. Yes, thank, thank you, you so you. much. Of course. Coming up on today's show, a local nonprofit is helping to get formerly incarcerated individuals safe housing. And we have all the details after the break.